uh, audio muxer is what we're going to use. And an audio muxer, there's a couple things you need to do first, which is settings and DTS test will, should fail. What you need to do is add the FFDCA encoder, which you just need to search this on the web, download the latest version, put it somewhere where you remember it and point to it. Save it. And then tools, audio conversion. And now your DTS wave will be lit up where before, um, if you did not put in that in decoder encoder, um, this would be grayed out. So I also want to specify a directory. We're going to put it in our wave folder. And let's find some 5.1 flex. Let's do music for the masses. I haven't done this one yet. One of their best. I'm just going to grab all of those, drag them right into there. And let's resample to CD, whatever this is, um, CD quality. 44.1 and we can leave everything else about the same. Um, this can be lowered if you if you need, but uh, this uh, here is pretty pretty standard. Um, share code uses one, two, three, four, um, but I have found 1536, the default uh, works just as fine. And these, as you can see, are 24 bits at 96 kilohertz, uh, six channel. And now we just press the, oh, so we've specified our directory. You can do same as sources if you want. It does put an extension in the, um, in the file. So you don't have to worry about that. And let's let this do its thing. This takes a while, it's gonna split all of your flax into six channels and encode them one at a time and it takes a while. So we'll be back in just a minute. So you can see here the separated wave file, center channel, left, low frequency, right, surround left, surround right. So it's created all of those, and then in a moment, it will patch them all together or repatch them all together again after it's done its conversion. And basically, it's just resampling to 44100. There's a lot of tutorials that say that it needs to be 16-bit. This is not the case. 24-bit is perfectly fine. In fact, if you use something like FUBAR and convert to 16-bit um, audio muxer will convert it back to 24-bit, which of course is useless. All right, um, we are done. We'll close these. I had, a, I had an error and that's why um, I had to actually redo first two tracks again but uh, they went through just fine so let's get those in order and then we'll just open up image burn no you know what first we're going to do one thing uh, I'm gonna rename these I'm just gonna get rid of that DTS in there And I'll show you why in just a moment. And that. Okay. So now it's just the file name dot wave. 
uh, we're going to do tools, create a queue file. And let's drag all of these in. It's interesting if you do it in um, from all the other programs that I've used to do this, it scans the audio files to make sure that they are ready to go. And in doing it this way, it does not. Um, I don't know what the difference is. So the reason uh, we renamed them is because it's auto naming each track, putting a title in there. And if we didn't rename them, it would say .dts on the end right there. So we'll go to the disk and we'll name this one as well. Oh, my DVD player, Blu-ray player does not show this text. I don't know why. Um, I feel like it should, but um, there's a lot of players out there that would actually use the CD text to display the song title, um, artist, album name, that kind of stuff, especially something like in a car. If you've got one of these cars with a DTS sound system, um, most likely you're going to want the CD text on there because it will display on the dash. Click OK, and it saves it right to the same folder. Done. And um, I had something checked, which already queued up to burn this, but I actually don't want to do that. Do you want to save the queue now? Because um, this is a lot easier if we just double click our queue file. Oh, let's put a CD in. Just a cheap blank CD. They probably go for pennies now. I have no idea, actually. I found this stack laying around the office. All right, it's ready. We'll burn this and come back in just a minute. All right, there's our CD. And let's go over and put this in the player. All right. <clears throat> yes, it's in a messy office. And that's it. It's a 5.1 surround CD for small storage and cheap, super cheap. CDs are coming back, I guess.